hi everyone this is me Bilal Malik in this video I will show you uh, working of pure sine wave inverter but, but before uh, playing this video let me give you uh, a link where you can find a complete article on pure sine wave inverter you can go to my website microcontrollerslab.com and I have provided the link of this uh, article in the description of this video and uh, as you can see I have write a complete article on circuit diagram of pure sine wave inverter and before reading this article I recommend you to read these uh, articles first because uh, all these articles are related to pure sine wave inverter and in this in these articles I have explained uh, first of all I have explained about pure sine wave inverter everything you need to know about to make an inverter then PWM controller I see then how to use MOSFET driver IR2110 which will uh, which you will be using in your H bridge then DC to DC converter using push pull topology if you are uh, you are designing uh, pure sine wave, uh, wave inverter using uh, fried core in, in in case of fried core you will step up your DC voltage to 311 volt using push pull topology and then I then you will read an article on how to make H bridge and diagnose this problem then as PWN generation and uh, here I have provided some um, part of the code but this is not the complete code because complete co code is not free of cost then I have uh, uh, provided the circuit diagram and after that I have provided uh, shown the outputs of uh, SPWM SPWM means sinusoidal pulse with modulation and after that uh, I have provided the circuit of uh, uh, get, uh, of uh, SPWM then here, here are the outputs of uh, SPWM which you provide to your H bridge and after that I have shown the results which I have got uh, from my pure sine wave inverter so let's go back to the simulation of uh, pure sine wave inverter this is the complete circuit diagram of uh, pure sine wave inverter uh, let me explain uh, explain you uh, before simulating it this is uh, a part of this is pure sine uh, this is uh, microcontroller which, which which is used to generate uh, getting getting uh, getting signals for uh, h bridge and we are using pic 16 f a double seven a microcontroller and similarly uh, this is uh, this part of circuit is used to uh, generate uh, on time delay for uh, mosfets and uh, I have explained all the things in the article which I have mentioned on uh, the uh, on the on the article I have uh, told you before and uh, you can read these articles to know more about the circuit diagram and after that I have uh, th this is a uh, circuit of H bridge and this is the circuit of H bridge these are MOSFET drivers IR2110 and uh, similarly we have uh, connected 12 volt to H bridge and after that we are using a transformer uh, to step the, up this voltage to 220 volt and here we using here we are using a uh, LC filter so let's uh, let's run this simulation and check the results so let's play it it will some uh, it will take some time to uh, give output uh, because uh, uh, circuit uh, in circuit we are using many components like uh, capacitors, uh, resistors, diodes, inductors. So it will take some time to uh, start simulating and uh, because uh, uh, as you can see uh, here you can see a, in animating mode CPU load is 91% and simulation is not running in real time. Here you can see C CPU uh, uh, is not running it, it's in uh, uh, running it in real time. So it will take some time to uh, load uh, output of inverter because uh, only 0 0.008 second have seconds have been passed till now so you have to wait uh, some time to check the results of spwm and uh, we are using uh, two uh, uh, oscilloscope here one uh, one oscilloscope is connected with the microcontroller and other oscilloscope uh, as you can see is connected with output of inverter so let's wait for a few seconds to uh, check the output of pure sine wave inverter uh, let me decrease the here you can see we are getting the output of uh, uh, output of spwm this is the output of spwm and uh, here you can see and now you can also see a sine wave is also generating so uh, because 
as i have already, uh, already told you simulating uh, simulation is not running in real time so it's that's why it is taking some time to <laughs> sorry it's taking some time to uh, generate sine wave but in real time it will definitely generate uh, in real time so here you can see uh, it is generating a sine wave let me increase its mag magnitude a little bit oh, here it is so this is a pure sine wave as you can see and uh, uh, it is a sine wave of uh, 50 uh, 50 hertz uh, let me uh, uh, let me clear it and uh, uh, cursor let me show you its time mm. cursor for example uh, it is as you can see uh, simulation is starting at 3.90 uh, let me uh, okay as you can see simulation for example we take this cycle from here to here 13.252 as uh, one cycle will complete here so 13.25 uh, to 33.25 it's mean 20 milliseconds so uh, 20 millisecond is equal to 50 hertz so this is a, a simulation of pure sine wave inverter if you want to read more about uh, pure sine wave inverter you can uh, read these articles uh, first of all you should read about pwm controller then mosfet driver then dc dc converter and then h bridge then spwm generation using tick microcontroller after reading this article you will come to know how to write code for this uh, pure sine wave inverter i have not provided a complete code for pure sine wave inverter because i recommend you to write your own code but if you uh, want to uh, uh, purchase this code you can contact me i have provided the email address my email address in the description of this video thanks for watching this video